Well, good Wednesday evening, just after 530 here, and the sun has largely set, but it was a beautiful sunset just beyond this deck of cloud cover. We're seeing some clearing off towards the west. Temperatures still currently sitting around that 50 degree mark, and we saw temperatures up in the mid to upper 50s across the region this afternoon. We saw 56, or we felt 56, in Columbia. That was the official record at uh, Columbia Regional. Watching a cold front across uh, mid-Missouri. This is going to continue to push through. It's a very weak front. We're not expecting any precipitation with it. We could see a few sprinkles early tomorrow morning towards the north and the east, but we'll stay dry and it really won't affect our temperatures much other than the fact that once we get into Thursday afternoon, we're competing with a little bit of a north breeze and that'll keep temperatures stuck likely in the upper 40s and lower 50s across the board. So about five degrees cooler than what we felt this afternoon. So not as warm and we're watching more of these waves as we head into the end of the week. Notably, this guy who moves in. This is our storm that we're watching as we head towards Friday night and into Saturday. Saturday. This large upper level wave uh, almost looks like a closed off wave as a by the time we get to Saturday. That's a sign that this thing's pretty strong and it'll bring in not only some cooler air but a chance for some precipitation as well. And then we'll be watching this once it gets here. The, the consensus is pretty solid that we're going to see this system pass by just to our west, which puts, puts us on the snow side of things. Uh, but once we see it exit uh, the area, we'll be watching to see if it goes south or if it travels more so off towards the east. If it pivots a little bit early and moves towards the east, we could see a better chance at maybe even higher snow totals. But as of right now, we're watching that carefully just to, to see what our expected totals are. But we do know that the arrival time likely is coming in Friday afternoon and evening for folks to the north, northern half of our viewing area. It'll start likely as a chance for rain before seeing that shift to more of a snow chance. Eventually, once the colder air starts to settle in, as this system passes by, again, just to our west, we'll likely see that chance for snow start to become more and more prevalent. So we're going to build that chance for snow into your overnight hours before tapering it off into the end of your Saturday. So that's where we expect to see the bulk of our impacts, especially the travel impacts is a good amount of us will see or just about all of us see that chance for accumulating snowfall, but the best chance for accumulating snow is going to be really north of I-70, and generally our best chance is going to be off towards the east of Highway 65 that will run through, or I should say run through uh, Pettis County down towards Warsaw. Uh, really east of that line. That's where I think we'll have our best chances. Things start to taper off as you head too far towards the south and the west, of course, as we get closer to the, the, the path of that low. As we head in towards the weekend, that's what we're tracking. Again, mostly an overnight system into Saturday. Most of your Friday remains dry, especially through the early half of it. Heading into Sunday, things dry out. We'll see more sunshine, but temperatures stay cool. We're talking average highs as we head in towards Monday, and then things warm up heading into Tuesday.